All right, we're live. And we're live. Oh, I love you. Hold on, let me go in here and get my moderation thing going. Yeah, and tweet out the link. Tweeter, tweeter. Pumpkin eater. She wants me to write with a bird. <laughs> Ain't nobody here but us. You're like, every time you laugh, you're like shaking the thing. I'm a shaking. <laughs> I'm a picking. I'm a shaking. And I'm a grinning. <laughs> we're live. We are. Yeah. We are live now. And action. I'm trying to get where I'm not like so blessed white. <laughs> so you're, you know, so, so you're fair skinned. Big deal. I am very fair skinned and I don't have any makeup on. It's because it's later and I'm getting ready for bed. And yes, I'm wearing a hat. And the reason why I'm wearing a hat is because. And yes, I'm wearing a hat. Okay, I just that was that was that was an echo. Yeah, the reason why I'm wearing a hat is because I don't get my hair dyed until tomorrow, and I don't want y'all to. I'm showing my age, and I don't want y'all to see it. Yeah, but you've been showing age like that since you're, you know, 18 years old. So. Yeah, but this you is. You could still be 18 years old. This for is all still, we know. but this is pretty bad. You could still be 18 years old for all we know. Yeah, it says I'm we have. Saying. It says we have some. Me. It's probably. It's, it's me. No, it's me. All right, it's right at one. At one thirty. Right it's at. Right, it's right at nine thirty. Nine thirty. As we were saying. Nine thirty Eastern. Nine thirty Eastern. As we were saying, a lappy burritos. Holy my goodness. Hola. Really. Yeah. Really. I can't. So. I can't take him anywhere. Um, so, do we want to talk about Mickey's Mystery Box, or we do want to talk about announcements? Well, first? The, well, you just kind of gave a course for the title. Of the the video. title of the video. Kind I, of. I think we should do this first. Well, and we can review as people come, if people come in. So, oh, what somebody just joined. In the box. What's in the box? Ah. So we got Miss, Mickey's Mystery Box here. Somebody just joined in. Whoever you are, yes. hello, welcome, hello. thank How you. Are you? Um, so yes, we do have Mickey's Mystery Box. So, as our normal disclaimer, this is a box that I pay for. We are not sponsored. Our one of our videos is on their website, we're, but, but we're not affiliated. But we are not. We don't have an affiliate code. We're not. We're not sponsored by them. And I pay for this with my own money. This is the spoonful of sugar box. It's uh, twenty nine dollars a month, and then you pay for shipping. And around, you know, with with shipping, it's around like forty bucks a month. So, and we always, and you always get more than your, your box is worth. Uh, absolutely. So, what do you say? I say, let's find out what's in the box. <laughs> Jerry is hot. Well, thank you, rants of an Uber driver. Oh, wait, I'm on coach. the wrong one. Here, let me go, because my other one is the moderator thingy. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you, <laughs> rants of an Uber driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is though. I'm just saying. Thank you, baby. Anyway, so we're gonna find out what's in the box. What's in the box? As we unbox the magic. We have done the tape. We have, we have as not always. Inside. We have not looked inside. So but there's the paper. I don't know if it's going to stay on with the... Sure it will. Um, you can't really see the... Yeah, but... As is tradition, we have... Here, hold on. We, we have donned the packing paper. There. Now they see it. See? It's like going... <laughs> <laughs> what is that? You got like a little... It's like a little <laughs> devil <laughs> here. here. <laughs> you take it and you do it like down the front and it'll be like a devil lock, like Danzig. <laughs> We're not drinking any adult beverages tonight. Not, not Just a, <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Not we're not affiliated with not them either. Not as far as you know. Okay, so we got a big item. We're going to probably oh. let's, let's do this last. But I had to get. Why do we have to do the big items last? Because 
As is tradition. All right, what we got here? Oh, oh, license plate ring. Oh, and how appropriate is this? Disney Vacation Club member license plate ring. That's one of the newer ones, too. Yeah, that's awesome. It says, Welcome, Disney Vacation Club. Uh, and we are DVC members. We so are. They go. probably knew that. Watching our videos, yeah. Um, so this is, retails for... 1995. 1995. That's almost across the box there. Oh, I see something Avengers. <gasps> what? It is a Captain America... It's a shield. Christmas shield Christmas ornament. That's awesome. You know we love the Disney Christmas ornaments. I actually keep them up on the, um, on our um, uh, bookshelf all year long. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and then we hang them on the tree when we put our tree up, um, which is actually still If we ever take up. it down. <laughs> we, well, see, it's only February 1st. The tree's still up. Right? I don't know. I'm, well, I've, I've, taken, I've taken a lot of it I down. I mean, if we give it a little bit longer, we could just leave it up. So that's what it looks like on the back. I mean, it's saying. It's got it's his so little much holder work. thing. Well, we didn't get it up get it up until like the, like the, stop. <laughs> we didn't finish the tree. We didn't finish getting the until, tree like, together three days until three before days Christmas. before Christmas. So, that's so kind of, we're leaving it up. We have so many ornaments. But, oh, this is awesome. And it's really heavy, too. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's like an actual shield. It's like, like yeah. It'll be like, pew, 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 pew. Pew. You do that. Yeah. Or it could be like a flying disc. It could be like a flying disc, like um, a boomerang disc. The retail on this is $24.99. Wow. But so, nineteen ninety five dollars and $24.99 retail. All right, let's see if there's... Between those two, and we haven't even opened the big thing yet. Yeah. We didn't get a part map this time. That's okay. That's all right. We got lots. That's <laughs> all the license plate ring. More made up for that. All right, so let's... Let's see what's in the packing paper. So, so as I'm unwrapping, why don't you talk about your... Uh, your Uber rant for today. Oh. Huh. A little shameless plug. So, some of you may or may not know, I have a separate channel called Rants of a Uber Driver with the Gooch. And I did a little rant today, um, and it was, the, the story was conveyed to me by, by Joe from Magical Moments. And he, they're, they're down at Disney World right now, and he mm -hmm. literally, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. I know. But he, he literally was, he, he was literally at the Starbucks. What literally? He was at the Starbucks uh, counter, uh, and he had his coffee, and he had a drink for, for Sarah, and he, had, and he had a drink for uh, two waters for the kids, and he had his straw sitting there on top of the, uh, on top of the drink tray, and this guy walks up and tries to take the straws off of his drink tray. The nerve of some people. I'm I'm serious. I'm still like this. I'm so. Uh, I'm just like really. So, we we started to realize that when you go to Disney, the only thing that ever really causes a negative experience of any kind when you're at the parks is other guests. Yes. Because they're so rude and self-centered and don't think about anything else around or anyone else around them outside of their own little world. It's just really frustrating sometimes. And to see how some of the other guests treat cast members is really kind of disgusting, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, because the cast members are there to give us to, to help us have a good time, right? Yes. And when you treat cast members poorly, that really doesn't make them really want to help you, even though they know they have to. But you're going to get such a much better... You're going to get so much better of an experience if you're nice to the cast members. And you know what? If you are considerate of other people around you, not only will you have a better experience, but so will everyone else. Absolutely. So, anyway... Yeah. Rant over on that. Yeah, but I, I, I was just like, you're going to walk up and take someone's straw, like really? Like right there, in, he's standing there. With, and, the, and the straw dispenser was right there beside so, us. So, but to Joe's credit, he said, hey, that's my straw, and the guy left it. But he shouldn't even have to say that. It's sitting on his drink tray. I would The guy tries to take his straw. You, you know me in my mouth. I looked at him, and I'm like, what, they, what do you think you're doing? I would have farted on him. Well, of course you would have. <laughs> I mean, you know. That's what you do. You break a rule. It's your thing. It's what you live for. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <Isn't> so. so <laughs> it. Isn't it? <laughs> Life's full of tough choices. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so funny. anyway. All right, so the last item in Mickey's mystery box is a mug. <gasps> oh, and I believe <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> It is Mr. Incredible. What's funny about this is this is the movie that Josie Josie's is watching, watching right, right now. now. In Incredible Dad. Hi, Josie. Hi. Mr. Look. I know. 
It's an, it's an incredible coffee mug. And it says incredible dad. Joe. Joe. Look at that. Oh. Coffee mug. Mickey's mm. mystery box. Look at that. Look at that. I know you're jealous because I know how you are with your coffee mugs. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's it's pretty mine. sweet. It's got a blue handle. It's mine. And it's black and it's got Mr. Incredible and Incredible. Mine? Mine? This is pretty awesome. Mine? Um, I do not see Inside. a... Inside. Mine? There's not a price point on it, though. It's just a bunch of writings probably saying don't put it in the dishwasher. Probably. <laughs> so, so, anyway. So, I'm going to put it first thing is in the dishwasher. Please don't do that. <laughs> So, anyway, that is another in amazing box. It's an, it's an incredible box. It's an incredible box. Even better. I'm just saying. So, to recap what we got in this month's, well, I guess it's in January. Is Mickey, Mickey's Mickey? Yeah, because it's not February. We got another box so, on the way soon. So, show the mug right quick. Incredible mug. Turn it around. All right, and we got the... <laughs> uh, I was going to say it's different. Uh, Captain America shield ornament that you could probably kill. You could probably slice some the top of someone's head off if you threw it at them. I bet it would stop a bullet. Probably. Yeah, that was the Captain America shield, baby girl. Yeah. I know. And then we got a Disney Vacation Club um, license plate. License plate. Ring. License plate ring. License plate ring. So awesome. Sweet. All right. So, so that is a that is a fantastic box. Absolutely. So on to other things that probably I'm guessing uh, most people are going to have to catch this um, after the fact. So. So first of all, uh, I, first of all, I just want to say before we make the announcement that we're going to be making, um, if you ha if you are subscribed to One Mouse One Dream. Go on their latest video and give them some love. Yes, absolutely. I that their their situation that they outlined kind of hits home for us because we've been through where they're at. Yes. Um, and I know Cherry in particular. Um, it really resonates with her, and uh, it does me too. But um, I don't know that it's possible for it to for it to resonate with me in the same way that it does for her. So just go check their video out. Well, give them some uh, well, support. it's a, you know, the, but their story is just it, like when you know when Lindsay's telling this, it just it absolutely broke my heart. And I, I you know, I, I I would you know I would say I don't know what they're dealing with, but I do. I mean, we were blessed with Josie, but it took. It took a lot of work it, it, and, it took and, a lot and, of work and and, and some and, some, and a lot of blessings too. And you know, and to hear the the struggles that they have had with it, um, just oh God, and 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 the feelings that she had around it. I remember those feelings very well, and I remember the being angry at God and being angry at other people that in the situation that you want to find that you want to find yourself in and can't, and it's just. It was heartbreaking. So if you guys can go and show them a little love and just kind of give them a little mental hug I or know something they would like appreciate that, it. absolutely. So we can't. I can't do this while you're like picking that. Well, I'm still trying to get the the sticker off of the inside of this mug, the Incredible mug. It's an Incredible sticker, apparently. Yeah, it's a. I think I got most of it, but it's definitely gonna have to it's be the Elasta sticker. The Elasta sticker. That's <laughs> awesome. I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna drink coffee out of that. I'm so gonna drink coffee out of that. Yeah, or hot chocolate. You can drink hot chocolate. I'm so it. drinking coffee out of that. <laughs> so, anyway, so announcement time. So, should we just come out and blurt it out? Well, well can we? We want to set it up. We'll set it up. So, we had previously announced that we were doing a Disney World trip um, for April, um, staying at Copper Creek um, with DVC points. Um, There's been some changes. There have been some changes. Unfortunately, um, we found ourselves not being able to renew our annual pass. Our annual passes actually ran out at the end of January. So, We're, so the caveat there is we've got another trip in June. It's a cross country trip. It's going to be a cross country two week trip. And as we worked out the budget for that, um, we realized that we really needed to shift some resources around. 
and uh, focus on that trip because we don't want to be underfunded on a cross-country trip where we're out on the road with a five-year-old. Yes. So uh, we made a decision as a family because Josie was involved in this decision yes. as well. Well, first of all, we decided we can't, we could not in the situation right now, we could not renew our annual passes. That's not to say that we're not, that we may not do it later this year. If, right. if, if that happens, I know that we had talked about when his mom comes home from Africa, maybe. Maybe, maybe in, maybe in the fall. Maybe in the fall going, maybe going to Disney World, maybe we can renew our annual passes yeah. then. Yeah. However, as of right now, we weren't able to renew our annual passes and therefore we're not, a, we had to cancel our trip to Disney World. Copper Creek. Uh, well, Disney World, Disney World Orlando. And, Disney World, and, and we, we canceled our reservations. We canceled our reservations. Creek. However, However, there is good news. So instead of doing that, we talked it over with Josie, and, and she is perfectly okay with this. In fact, she said she wants to do this. She wants to do this. So we have decided that instead of going to Disney World, we are going down to... Disney the, Vacation Club Resort in Vero Beach, so, Florida. So Disney's Vero Beach Resort. So we're going to be about two hours away from actual Disney World. Yes. So, so I think we're going to actually keep our Artist Point reservation for. Yeah, for I'm, the I'm, I'm meal. getting all that. Oh, yeah. So if you don't know where Vero Beach is, Vero Beach is like on the Atlantic side, just south of Daytona, just, right? Well, no, 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 it's further down. Um, I want to say it's like near. I've actually, I think I took a picture of it on the map. Um, it's actually further down, like, let me see if I kept that. Let's see. Let's see if I kept it. Do, 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 do. Talk amongst yourselves. Talking amongst ourselves here. Actually, let's see if I know where it is. Yeah, I, yeah. On. So, so on. anyway, we, we, we decided to do this. Um, one, so. Here it is. Okay. Okay, so. I um, it I, is actually in between Melbourne and um, Palm Bay and Fort Pierce and um, Fort St. Lucie. So it's in between those on the trip. It's in the area called the Treasure Coast. That, that's a picture, baby. Yeah, I know. I'm, I was looking. <coughs> so it's on the Treasure Coast. Apparently, there are treasure ships. Tre well, there are sunken ships off the coast that may or may not have treasure. Mm -hmm in them um but it's about what two hours from orlando it's about two hours it's southeast like i said along the atlantic coast um so south of palm bay um yep yeah, south of palm bay um north of fort pierce so um it's going to be a new adventure for us because we've never done a disney resort outside of disney, disney world yeah. yeah disney world um so and Josie was perfectly fine with it. She said that um, she wants to build a sand castle. Yeah, she wanted to. You know, she she was fine with just going to the beach. Um, but being two hours away, we are going to keep a couple of our ADRs, including um, one night. I actually made ADRs actually at their uh, for, one for breakfast and one for dinner. Um, at their at the resort at Vera Beach. At, at, they have a they, they have character meal. I want to say it's called Wind and. Wind and Wave. Wind and Wave. Yeah. Uh, restaurant. There. Uh, like I said, I think the night we get there, we're going to do dinner, and then the next morning we're going to do breakfast. They do actually. They do not have a character meal except on Saturday mornings. And we won't be there for Saturday. And we will morning. not be there for Saturday morning. So. Oh well. So, but they have all kinds of activities. Like they have kids activities where they do soccer or all, all kinds of like little sports. They do they like little pool. adventures. They have a pool. Um, they have like a game room, um, but being only two hours away, we can go and do outlet shopping in Orlando. We can go do, you know, a couple of the ADRs that we had planned. Um, we could go to Disney Springs. I mean, it's just, you know, we, we just, we got, you know. We, we can, it's still a Disney vacation, but it's just not a Disney park vacation. Yeah, and uh, some of the, um, I think some of the uh, reviews that you, that you saw. They, they were glowing. Yeah, yeah they, almost there, and and from what we've heard, the place stays booked. Yeah. So um, the fact that we were able to get this was pretty. Yeah. Pretty pretty good. Which also played into our decision to do it because we couldn't get into Hilton Head. That place is completely booked. I can never get into book, yeah. Hilton Head. Um, but and but that would have been our first choice because we're in North Carolina. Hilton, Hilton Head's only lot, like five hours away. Yeah, it'd been a lot closer. But this isn't like I said. This is a new adventure. We you know. Um, 
it's kind of weird going to Florida and, and not, not going, going to Disney, Disney World. World. Um, but it, I think it's going to be fun. I, we're going to, like I said, we're going to do the beach. Um, this allows us to um, shift resources toward our tri cross country trip in June, which will include Disneyland as well as Las Vegas, uh, Las and Vegas, the Grand and, Canyon, and, and, and Memphis, Graceland, and, and and a number of places along the way. Stand on the corner in Winslow, Arizona. Yeah, yeah. You know, so um, we're 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 excited about that, and we just felt like it was it was uh, more prudent to do that and make sure that we were well funded for that trip. And I'm not seeing a whole lot of vlogs with the for the Vero Beach property, so, so this will give, give us, us a chance, opportunity to vlog that. Yeah, we we can vlog it and share our um, share our experience with you. Yeah. Um, and like I said, it's just you know it's a new adventure. I, I'm really excited I am about too. it. Josie's really excited about it because she wants to go to the beach. And she wants to build sandcastles. She wants she to, wants to search for seashells. And yeah. she wants to dig, dig a hole and put the seashells in the hole. Yeah. Um, and just play on the beach, really. Yeah. That, so that's what we're going to do. Yeah. So, but anyway, that was our big announcement. Um, our And our plans for, um, for the June trip are coming together as far as dates go and we're, we're going to be booking hotel stuff for that soon. We're going to be booking hotel uh, stuff for that. Uh, well, we've already booked our Disneyland part of the trip. Yeah, but we gotta, um, we're we're going to be booking four nights in Vegas here coming soon, and then not long after that, we'll be start we'll we'll start looking at what distances we're going to travel each day as soon as we know about it. well, especially for the trip back because there's a variable there. If Josie goes to Nationals, yeah, we're going to come straight back the way we came. If Josie doesn't go to Nationals uh, the fall, the weekend we're, we're coming back, there's a chance we might detour like through Denver. and Take go, like 64. Take like 64 and ride through the Rockies just to, because we've never seen them. I've never been in not, those states. Yeah, so. I, I, and, um, and I've also, um, I mean, I've seen them like when we flew into, when we fly, fly, flew into Vegas from when we fly Minneapolis. Over, we've seen them, I've seen seen them from the air, but we've never actually seen the Rockies. Yeah. So that would be cool. And that will give us a chance to see, like, you know, different states that we've never been to before. I see mountains, Gandalf. <laughs> mountains, Gandalf. <laughs> so, well, also um, through the Midwest, too. There's yeah. You know, yeah. States like, that we've uh, never seen. well, can Kansas is pretty flat. Yeah. But, it's but I've never been there. So never been there, but, you know, it's Take cool. off that ticket off. Yep. And, oh. uh, you know, Missouri, we, we, we would actually ride through ride through St. St. Louis and see the Big Arch, mm -hmm. Gateway to the West, and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. that that's that's the variable right now. We're still waiting to get dates for Josie's Dance uh, Nationals. Uh, well, 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 we know well, the dates that they would be. It's just whether or not they qualify to go. Yeah, uh, and... Uh, I have it, a feeling they probably will. Though. Yeah, mid-March is uh, when her regionals is, so... Um, and she's in three dances, so she has three opportunities to make nationals. She'll probably go all three. Well, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I think they have a really good shot. They're going to do it. They're going to do it. They're going to do it. So we're just going to be coming straight back. Um, and, I, and I'm going to say that I'm not going to say that I'm tired of Disney World. I can never be tired of Disney World, but I can tell you right now. Sometimes, you, sometimes a little it's, change is it's good. Okay, it's okay yeah. to take a break. And honestly, I could use a break from some of the from the guests. Well, we talked about the guests that go there and the craziness. I, I just, you know, Ugh. especially after that November trip, like we had a we had a wonderful time with the with magical moments. We had an amazing trip. Our, our trip with magical magical moments was truly magical. It really was. Um, th but there were some moments that were not so that magical. were not so magical, and it had and to do, had with, to other do with other guests. Yes, not not with not with the Watkins family at all. They were amazing the entire trip. Um, and not not with uh, any cast members really. The cast members were all great. Our issues were only with other guests and, being, and, and just general rudeness. Because, being rude, yeah. But but you know it's good. Like I said, it's good to take a break. And when we're there in um, in June at Disneyland, after we booked our hotel, they announced that in June, guess what's opening at Disneyland. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Well, I'm not going to set foot in there. Well, the I'm only not. way we would set foot in there is if there was no one else in there. And that's not going to happen. happen. But the good thing is it may draw the crowds away from the attractions that we really want to see. That's true. Like Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. I would want to do everything Matterhorn. else in Disneyland. but I that. really want to do the Incredicoaster, even though I know Josie's not quite tall enough and for if, that and yet. If, and, and if you do it, you're going to have to make sure she doesn't see it. May, maybe, <laughs> I, maybe, maybe, I can, maybe I can single rider that one. 
Then I would have to single rider it. I really want to do the Incredible Coaster. So do I. I know. We're going to have to figure that out. Yeah. We but, can ride or swap it. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll ride or swap it. We're going to try. But it. yeah, we just, I'm just, I'm not looking forward to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge in any way whatsoever. Not, not that, not that we don't like Star Wars. I love Star I, Wars. Well, you know, I'm wearing it. But we, it. we we all know um, anyone that's ever been to Disney for anything and, that, and something new opens up, the new shiny always draws the multitudes of crowds. Yeah. And when I and when I say that, I mean so thick you cannot walk. Mm-hmm. So that that's kind of you know we might we we might forego the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge so that we can do everything else. Because if we go there and we try to do Star Wars Galaxy's Edge with the short time that we have there, we're not going to be able to do anything else. No. So um, right. I'd rather do everything else and not Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and then maybe check that out at Disney World because it's going to be later the exact on, same yeah. later on after the crowds die down in like 10 years. <laughs> Seriously. Um, but yeah, um, but yeah, that's our big announcement. We're not doing Disney World, but... Well, in April. But. In April, but... We are. We have a new adventure, and we're doing Disney's Vero Beach Resort. And we're going to Disneyland in June. And we're going. To, well, we already. We had already. Announced I know, that. but I like to say that. I know we're going to Disneyland in June. That's a bucket list check. Check up, check up, check up, check up. So anyway, check check since, check since there's no one. There's no one. I guess everyone's going to have to watch this later. Later. So I guess. That's, later. So I guess that's going to be it. So before we sign off, let's review. Our Mickey's Mystery Box. Thank you to our friends at Mickey's Mystery Box yes. for this amazing, yes. yet, yet another amazing box. So we got this Disney Vacation Club. What would you call it? License plate ring. License plate ring. And the Incredible Dad mug. It's an incredible mug. Yeah. And then I'm still drinking coffee out of that. And then we got the. Captain, Captain America, America. <laughs> not not Superman. Captain, Captain America, America. Um, uh, shield Ave- Christmas ornament. Avengers Christmas ornament. That literally, I think it's like I, ten pounds. If I threw this to someone, I probably Knock out. I probably could give them a good concussion. I mean, yeah. let's see. Oh, the, uh, hi, hi Memphis. Memphis. How's it going? Uh, a day late and a dollar short. Uh, well, you know what? Uh, go back and watch from the beginning because it was a yeah, lot we covered. Yeah. So, uh, and I think you, I think you did already know this, but um, uh, we're not doing Disney World in um, in April, but we are going to be doing uh, Disney's Vero Beach Resort. Yeah, instead. The, the Disney Vacation Club Resort at Vero Beach, Florida. And I'm going to vlog um, it because I don't see a whole. I, I seriously I don't, don't see a whole lot of vlogs. Well, um, and it. and then uh, you know we'll we'll be close enough to Orlando that uh, we could keep a couple of our ADRs, in particular Artist Point. Yeah, uh, we want to do that. At, Definitely want to do that uh, one. At Wilderness Lodge because that's the new character meal for that uh, with Snow White and uh, I believe the Evil Queen maybe. Yeah, Evil Queen and, and I th- I, one I, or two of the dwarves. I want to say it's Doc and Dopey. Doc and Dopey, I think. Maybe. Yeah, I think that sounds maybe like what I've heard. Um, uh, I don't know if any of you saw any of the Disney news from today, but they're closing Beaches and Cream down for several months for refurbishment. Uh. Glad you guys get to keep some of your own oh, Thank yes. you so much. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's cool to be like, we're, we're, we'll be within a couple of hours of Orlando, but we're going to be on the beach. Um, new adventure. Go check it out. We'll let you guys know how that resort yeah. is. Yeah. And uh, I, I've, I've seen nothing but good reviews about it. Yeah. Now, one of my friends said that um, one of her friends went and they had bed bugs. You know, I talked to someone about that a little bit, and they mm-hmm. said, it was it bed bugs or was it sand fleas? Because, you know, sand fleas are traveling around the beach. Oh, I don't so know. So it could have been know. sand fleas, or it could have been that another guest brought them in, and and they didn't tell, because if, you, if yeah. somebody takes bed bugs to hotels, they're not going to tell the staff, hey, I brought bed bugs. Honestly, in. that's the only negative thing yeah. that I've ever so, heard about so, this resort. So I'm pretty sure that once, Disney, once the Disney staff found out that that had happened, that they eradicated the situation yeah. because every other review I've seen has been glowing. Yeah, and we're staying we're staying on our Disney Vacation Club points and we're staying in a deluxe studio. Yes. So uh, part of our vlogs for that will be a tour of the deluxe tour of the, studio. Tour of the deluxe studio, a tour of the resort in general. Yeah, um, and we're going to have plenty of time to just <clears throat> walk around the resort and chill. Chill and we won't have to be rushing for fast that, passes or have that, for have a- that anything. beach air. Oh, God. Yep. I may not actually have my allergies killing me. That's so awesome. 
I can't wait for the tour vlogs. Thank well, you. Well, we and, will have them up as absolutely. soon as we can. Yeah. And, of course, we, uh, after that, we'll have the, the, the June Cross Country. The Cross Let's Country. The, the June. Gra Graceland, Amarillo by morning. Wins left stand turn at Albuquerque. Left turn at Albuquerque. Stand on the corner of Winslow, Arizona. Viva Las Vegas, Disneyland. No, Grand, Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. Viva Las Vegas. Good Springs. Good Springs and Disneyland. Uh, Disneyland and, and maybe the Rockies. And well, or and and maybe um, maybe Sunset Strip and uh, maybe and maybe and Santa Monica Pier and Santa Monica Pier vlogs. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> So, um, but yeah, that, that, like I said, that is coming together. I think we're, we're just trying to decide which day we're going to be leaving on, uh, to go to Memphis. I yeah. I don't know if it's going to be the Sunday or the Monday. It just, well, we have to get, we have to check in in Vegas and it probably will be the Sunday cause we, that we leave and go to Memphis because, uh, we have to check in in Vegas on the Wednesday, the 19th. Okay. I, I thought it was either going to be the Saturday, the Saturday or the Sunday. I didn't know. Which yeah. One. It, it, we'll, we'll figure that out because yeah. really I need to map the distances out because there's only so far we can feasibly travel in a day. And I don't think I want to be driving more than like eight hours in a day. And you know, one thing we could do is, you know, <clears throat> if we decide to leave on Saturday, maybe we could find a place to stay in like Asheville and, in like maybe to go to Biltmore maybe. or something like that. And we'll see. Because I love I love Biltmore House. Yeah, we'll see. But I think the first day I want to make it to Memphis. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I've started slowly but surely putting up uh, the trip vlogs from the November 7, 2017 trip. Um, like I said, they're so disjointed the way the way they had to load onto my phone uh, from from the from the card. It's so disjointed. So I'm having to kind of piece together where everything went. On top of just doing general editing, um, she so, said disjointed. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, we're um, so I'm, ha I'm I'm trying to get those finished. Um, I only have like another day or, or another maybe three vlogs worth of footage on that one, um, and then the January 2018 uh, vlogs will start coming out. Um, um, some things we got coming up, like on a personal front, we have, Josie has dance. She's got, she's performing in the benefit, um, for, um, for organ donor, um, um, in, let's see, it's February the 17th, I think. Yeah, February 17th. Um, February 15th, I have daddy daughter dance. Yeah, you have dad, yeah. you, you have father daughter dance. Yep. Um, but she's going to be performing in a benefit, um. Uh, for an organization called um, Destiny Lives On. Destiny was a um, a student at uh, her dance studio. At, at Josie's dance studio who died in a tragic horse accident. Um, I actually know her mom, um, and it was just it was a horrible thing. But Destiny was an organ donor, and uh, her mom has been able to meet several people who received her organs, and it's just it's just so beautiful. Um, uh, but Des so Destiny Lives. Destiny Lives On, yeah. and that's the name of the thing. Um, there's actually a video out there of the dance of her, of the competition team, <clears throat> the big group called uh, Destiny's Fight Song. Uh, it's the song Fight Song, but it, it's a, it's a dance about her and the organ donor thing. It's a beautiful dance. Um, but she's performing one of her, one of her, uh, competition pieces there and then um in march she has her dance competition where she's doing three dances i don't think i can say what they are right now no, we can't uh, but she's doing a jazz dance she's doing a hip-hop dance and she is in production i will spoil a little bit and say that the production piece is based on something disney hey that's a broad net i think that's safe to say that how many how many how many properties? Just wait. I'm just saying. All right. So, uh, but yeah, we've got that going on. We're just going to be so busy. And then in the, in the, in the spring, she's going to be starting soccer too. So we got a busy kid <sighs> and you're going to be doing, you're still doing the bowling thing and you're renting like an Uber driver. And yeah. People just grasp at straws all the time. I know. I don't understand it. I wanted to ask Joe, was he carrying an obnoxious balloon too? <laughs> I should have asked him if the guy used his turn signal to try to steal a straw. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh, we're so snarky. <laughs> anyway, um, 
But um, but Joe actually is the one that said, "Hey, this is new rule material." Yeah, absolutely. So he he knows he, he knows Joe's not, Joe he knows, knows the drill. Joe knows what's up. But that's uh um but um Memphis as soon as uh we get the date nailed down for being in Memphis, uh we will let you know and maybe we can meet up. And if we wind up doing the uh the way back on sixty four, maybe we can maybe stop and say hey in St. Louis too. Perhaps. But that's all that's all dependent on if she doesn't go to nationals. Yeah. If she goes to, to nationals we have we have to book it back across the country the same way we can. We have to yeah, we have to wait and see how that works out. <laughs> so anyway, we, we got a lot going on and I think I am gonna film a a little I'm gonna have to wait until you're with me, uh, because I'm gonna need you to do the camera. I think we're gonna do a little throwback to Dance Mommy vlog and show what's in Josie's da uh, dance competition bag. I want to do a, a comprehensive video of um, the things that are in her bag and what I put in. I hope we can meet up. And I just screamed from my car with excitement with Casey. Oh, <laughs> oh we love you, Memphis. You're, it's you're, gonna be fun. you're one of our favorites. We love you. It's going to be fun. Yes. Um, but yeah, um, but yeah, I want to show it because, you know, the very first one where I got on here and talked was what's in Josie's dance bag when she first started dance right before she turned two so years old. It's a lot different now. Yeah, the bag, the bag has, has gotten, gotten so much bigger. bigger. The, the bag is literally like a closet now. It's a it's, it's a competition bag. It's a closet. It, it's a competition bag. So, it's a closet. But I want to go in and go in depth and, you know, what to... Uh, we love you too, oh, Casey, you and guys. I had a lovely conversation with you guys in my last video. I need to go check that yeah, out. Yeah, we need to check it out. We need to check it out. Um... But yeah, we're gonna. Um, I'm gonna do a new What's in Josie's dance competition bag. Closet. <laughs> yeah. It's like a closet. Blo uh, it's blog. got hangers and everything. Uh, and, and a rack and yeah, everything. Yeah, I mean, it's like crazy. Um, I may do another video where I show you how I pack um, for the for the dance competition. And I'm not gonna be able to vlog the competition because they have strict rules about. They, video. They don't let you video or take pictures. And it's more so to protect the kids. It's absolutely to protect yep. the kids. But, um, but you know, um, we can't take pictures either, but uh, we will be getting pictures and uh, video from the from the competition once it's over. Um, and I'll be posting them once once I get that because yep. they just look so flippin' adorable. So cute. I mean, they're like five and six and seven years old. I mean, you know. Yeah, it's hard, hard from... They, they would have to work at not being cute. And yeah. even then, they'd still be cute. Absolutely. So, I guess with that, we're going to sign off. Um, happy Friday. Happy Friday, uh, Memphis. If you have any questions for me, um, hit me up on hit me on Facebook, girl. You know, you, you got You my, know how to reach us. You know how to reach me. Um, so, with that, for Josie. Gooch. I'm Cherry, and we are the Disney Beans. As we always love to end our videos with, and you're going to do this. Love. Peace. Rock and roll, and a little bit of pixie dust, and some and, and, some, and, and, some, and some packing string. <laughs> All right.